Hey, what's up, guys? It's Isaac, and I'm coming to you with a special edition of an album review. And you're asking yourself, why is Isaac reviewing albums? Does he know anything about music? The answer is no, but that doesn't stop me from using my small audience to purporting myself into some kind of music um, aficionado and reviewer and such. So, I don't know if any of that actually made sense or I used actual words beforehand, but what I do know is I'm going to, <laughs> so dumb, I'm going to be reviewing, <laughs> I'm not going to cut that either because I'm doing this the day before, I literally, literally just listened to the album yesterday and I'm recording this on Sunday before church, so uh, here it goes, this is my NF album review, it's going to be more general because, dude, there's 19 songs on this thing, I can't go in depth and all of them, so let's talk. Going into this album, I was kind of nervous, because to give you a little bit of context, I am an NF fan. Um, I went to his concert last time he was here in Winnipeg, and so every, every time somebody you like is releasing a new album, I think there's always a sense of nervousness that's associated with that, because you really appreciate their past work, and you just want them to be able to live up at least to a degree of what they've done previously. But there's always that that oh man, what if they what if they just totally blow it and it's not good. But this album did not disappoint. This is very classic um, NF style of real raw, just going at it in terms of musically. The poetry, the artistry is very very elite, at least in my opinion. Um, as I was saying, I can't really go into depth in a lot of the analogies he was using. A lot of the songs are, are quite deep, some of the other ones maybe not so much. But I definitely found key themes of, you know, change and moving and trying to be, um, trying to be a better man in those areas of his relationships with his wife and just generally as he's trying to figure life out through a lot of his past um, trauma and hardships and pain and trying to sort all that stuff out. Um, there was a key clip that I felt was really, really impactful for me um, where he was just literally speaking. I think it was just kind of a take of him talking about um, when he was at the peak of his um, career's success and just saying, you know, that was when I was actually most depressed. And, and I could see this as a key theme throughout many of his songs is this idea that look I have everything I ever wanted um, I came up from nothing and now I have money and I have fame and I'm selling out tours and yet there's still this sense that I haven't made it and this doesn't make me happy and so in the midst of that he's struggling with this feeling of I should be happy and yet I'm not and it's kind of driving him crazy in a way and I could relate with that because there's been times in my life where yeah, I felt like I should be happy here, but I'm not. And that kind of drives you crazy almost. Um, throughout this album, as I was saying earlier, you get a sense of his real, um, authentic feelings in regard to his overall feeling of just his career and his personal life and how that's impacted his personal life. Um, Throughout different songs, he contemplates this idea of going back to um, when it wasn't so crazy, when he wasn't so famous, when he wasn't, and I know it's kind of one of these things where sometimes people, um, you know, you complain where you, you want to get to the top, and then you're at the top, and you complain about being at the top, but I could really connect with him, and I know it's kind of interesting because I'm not at the the top I can't relate with him totally on what that feels like but I could understand his heart in this and understanding hey look when you have everything it's not going to satisfy and that's that's pretty much the key thing that I got from this album the first or second time I've listened to it I'm sure as I listen to it more and more that I'll begin to pick different things out in terms of the music itself um my one kind of critique, but not necessarily a critique, it's just kind of like, oh, what I wish he might have did a little bit, was include some more courses within some of his songs, because it makes it more memorable. Um, he's really, really talented at just going verse, 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 and being really poetic and just, uh, it's sounding awesome. 
The only problem is, is sometimes they kind of smush together in your mind and you can't really differentiate, oh, which is this song, which is this song, which is this song. And I think a chorus, like a really solid chorus, singing chorus, whether he sings it or a feature, um, it helps differentiate the songs a little bit more, make it a little bit more memorable. That's my one cr critique, but otherwise, I really, really enjoyed this album and I'm actually looking forward to listening to it again. And I probably should have said this earlier, but if you've never heard NF before, and you, you've probably clicked off by now, but NF is kind of like a, it's, he's a, a rapper, um, but with a Christian basis, he's, he is a Christian, and um, not all of his songs are about God, but I can really see his worldview shining through, even through the midst of his struggles. Um, some of my favorite songs are Change, talking about this idea that, look, he needs to change in order to find this new inspiration in what he's doing in, in his life, because when it becomes, when he's scared of that change, um, it just becomes monotonous and boring, and then he feels uninspired and kind of without purpose. So he needs that change, but he's scared of it. I can really relate with that um, song, My Stress. I can definitely relate to that song, and I really enjoyed that song, um, a song called Only, um, and um, I really enjoyed Trauma at the end of the album where it was just singing, and I mentioned earlier that I really like uh, NF singing and I would like more of that in future albums um, but that is a song that's just really powerful and um, so those are some of my favorite songs also time fantastic song fantastic music video um, so if you're interested in this album you want to check out some songs I encourage you to listen to the full thing through um, but it's like 19 songs so that's a long uh, commitment so check out the songs that I like maybe and you can tell me what you think also um, if you enjoyed this album review um, I don't I doubt I'll be doing this very often because I don't really know what albums I would review this is interesting to me um, but um, let me know and uh, I'll talk to you next time see ya